Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back to Pinball FX2. Last time we did Tesla and it was an alright table. Kind of boring, there's not a lot that really was said or probably could even be said about Tesla. Uh, didn't really embrace magnetics or electricity as much as I think the table probably could. But today we're going to do Iron Man. Iron Man's a big ticket Marvel guy. They it should be a good table. Uh, Blade was the last Marvel table we did, and I really enjoyed that table. And that's quite surprising because I don't really feel like Blade is that big of a uh, guy. I mean, probably most Marvel fans know of Blade, but I don't know how many of them actually read this comic or if this comic's even going on. So, I was saying of the last group since maybe Moon Knight or since X-Men at very least, Blade was the one table that could have dropped the ball, uh, So and it didn't. It raised the bar, and now Iron Man kind of needs to live up to that new Iron standard. Man. Let's look at the achievements. Accomplish all Tony Stark missions, and defeat Whiplash and Mandarin. So this feels like the first, maybe the second Iron Man movie. Boy, does that table look red. Really, really red. Too much red. This feels like one of their newer tables with three 3D models on on the field, standing around. Oh, look at all that red and yellow. And a little bit of blue. So there's a sinkhole in the middle. We have Tony Stark and he'll put on the Iron Man suit. There's a uh, pop-up bumpers and uh, lane lights, a shield hovercraft. This is Mandarin, but not the Mandarin that we really saw in the movie, I don't think. They, they did something weird in the movie with the, that Mandarin, which I, was probably the uh, right thing to do because all these comics are so old, they're old. There, there are some pretty old, like, what would be considered by today's standards racist stereotypes. And even back then they may have been racist stereotypes. Uh, it, so, they're trying to get away from that. Looks like there's some potentially difficult ramps going on here. I don't think I'm going to get on top of that shield helicraft, though. I think it's just there. There's doesn't look like there's any kind of under the table mini play ball. There's let's see four seven missions to do. And Whiplash is over there on the left and uh, interesting they had a different Welcome, Mr. Stark. character play as Whiplash too that looked pretty different. We'll get our view number four and try this. Let's see. Lunch it's off. a bit early, but cheers. So Whiplash is just gonna whip his his whips all the time. That's gonna be annoying. Yeah, he is. He's just gonna whip them all the time. That is totally wrong. Why would you do that? Why would you distract the players? So we can fall back on the standard complaint here. Uh, in fact, both Stark standard Industries complaints. Is going public. Uh, the table has practically nothing in the lower play field. It's just this big empty space. And then it has way too many rooms. Left kickback activated. And we haven't seen this problem you happen in a while. You me, Stark. Uh, I will slice you. Uh, they... Most of the tables we've seen Fantastic. lately have been pretty good about doing something different, fixing some of the issues we've seen before. Apparently, I just got a ball destroyed. I don't That's like why that I either. More than one suit. Uh, I hate when the ball disappears and gets destroyed. Where's the skill shot?
really, really sharp angled ramps on the right there. And the left is. We need to increase the tower security level. And that Stark Tower it doesn't even look like Stark right Tower kickback activated. Uh, from the movies. The, maybe this table was made before Iron Man even came out, Iron Man 1? It's possible. Hmm. And so each mission he gets to sit on. Enough of this foolishness! Die! That's why I have more than one suit. And then he's going to say, that's why I have more than one suit each time. It's a bit early, but cheers. Hmm. And see, he's saying cheers because for a long time, Iron Man drank a lot. I think eventually, in one run, they, they came out straight and he admitted he was an alcoholic. Either way, you're, this is supposed to be a family-friendly kids pinball uh, table, or at least family-friendly, if not directly for kids, and, Pepper, and it's serious need of repair encouraging here. drinking you know, early in the morning is not, awesome. not good. So we got 1.6 million. I wonder if that's going to be much higher. Let's see, ball save is by hitting all of these, kickback is by lighting all of these, extra ball is by lighting all those, combos is by doing that, stock market by hitting that, stark time by hitting that, party by hitting that, science award by cross shot, shield by hitting that, shield multi ball apparently, I have to hit that multiple times and get the lock in, we'll try for that one. And then the mission started is back there. And with flash attacks, you just hit the ramp so lit. With flash and Mandarin, she just hit the ramp so lit. And Mandarin and Pac Queen just hit the ramp so lit. And Mandarin and Electro Blast just hit the ramp so lit. And then the Flame Blast is actually hit the ramp again. And then the Vortex Beam, guess what? Hit the ramp so lit. This is the problem with having a table that's nothing but Welcome ramps. Mr. Every Stark. single mission is just going to be a it's different a set early, of ramps. Cheers. I think Iron Man kind of suffers by not having Pepper Potts, I think is her name, in the storyline. Because she, at least to some extent, keeps him under control when he's in this... We need to like, increase the tower narcissistic playboy mode, but like the most recent movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Tony Stark, I believe it's been Civil War, and pretty much even after uh, Iron Man 2, or 3, maybe it was 3, I think 3, uh, Tony Stark changed his whole attitude, Stark Industries and so is going he's, public. he's much more serious, and he's just not the hey, Bruce Wayne style. Hey, if you're looking for a good party, you've come to the right place. And even Bruce Wayne was only cameras? acting that way good idea. Uh, to throw off suspicion. So according to the table instructions, Our shares it, are still rising. it is kind of demoralizing to see the table instructions and just see that there's not going to be anything. Biometric surveillance really systems are now online. So playing a game like this, it's, it's pretty much just going to be more of the same. And sadly, I'm probably 10 minutes into it and I'm, I'm ready to quit already. It's like, alright, well. We. And that's why I have more than one suit. I feel like a pinball table has to offer hope. It's a bit towards early, something but. Crazy. Cheers. Towards that multi ball, towards that super jackpot, towards uh, unlocking and starting an interesting mission. Uh, 
here as the, I believe, 55th table we played. We know that we're not going to see anything there. And further more than that, they, they can't even really cover an Iron Man that we even care about, or I even care about, because this is not the current Iron Man, I'm sure, on, ladies, in the comics, and it's not the current Iron Man in the cinematic universe, definitely. Ball so because of that, like, maybe if they were just trying to do a historical look on Iron Man, that'd be slightly interesting, but if you're gonna do that, you have to talk about all the Iron Man. The original Iron Man was literally in a silver iron suit. Left kick um, activated. There have been so many variations of the suit and, defense system is and reboots of the story. That right you kick back might as well have called it Iron Man through the ages if you were gonna do a table like that. We need to increase the tower's security level. Even if you tried to do like a specific, like, the best of Iron Man Tales, you, you need more detail. Are Whiplash and the Mandarin really Iron Man's two best villains? It may very well be. Would it, it kind of explain why, why we didn't see anything better in the Iron Man movies? Uh, Ultron. In Avengers Age of Ultron, certainly. And you thought last year's party was something. I think, in general, there is a truth that Marvel's bad guys aren't very good. And that's in why I have more than one suit. They all have really silly bad guys. Uh, it's a bit early, but and cheers. It's, it's difficult to try and figure out how you're going to fix that too much. Iron Man seems believable. Whiplash seems less than believable. Um, at least in the Flash TV series. They, they kind of have fun with it. Good and, idea. and they explain it away a little bit better. Of course, Flash had some of the weirdest rogues. Another great day guys. for Stark Industries. But of they all do. They Welcome all to the world's ways. most exclusive party. Cheers. At a certain level, I guess you just have to give the same name. Whoever the Mandarin's real name is, you would just give a bad guy that name, and then they would in no way resemble the person at all. Uh, and just. They're a standard bad guy in a suit. Right kickback activated. Enemy. Of course, hey, that's not very fun to fight. Party? You've come to the right place. But I don't know how you do it. There's too many unbelievable things. Ball locked. The Mandarin might work better in uh, Doctor Strange because the Mandarin. He is supposed, supposedly magical, I think. Nice shot. Nice little multi ball we started. And again, it's just hit every lane. Amazing. And whoever's doing the voicing for the amazing mall. We don't need sounds a like bailout. We're a bailing them out. Uh, we've heard on other tables, so it may just be a general voice Come on, like ladies, they had. Let's dance. Or they paid the same amazing. Up to the Mark III uh, Iron Man suit, there's quite a few of them. They got up to the point where he just had nano machines in his blood. Biometric surveillance systems are now online. I'm surprised Tony Stark doesn't have a brand of like iron supplements or uh, vitamins. 
That seems like something he might Our be able to are still sell. rising. So what are we doing? Oh, wow, we are shooting tiny little pinballs. This is cool. I'm gonna hit this one on the right here. Come on, hit it. Where's this thing in? I think I did it. Ah. I think that thing just let me play until I succeeded. That was kind of cool. Uh, kind of hard to do in the real world to have a tiny. Uh, mini pinball shooter Left there. Activated. You could do it, but you'd have to stick it under glass to make sure none of those tiny mini pinballs escaped the on the table. Anti-rocket defense system is installed. Because if they did, they, they'd get stuck all over the place. And certainly that could have been a dot matrix mission, but doing it in the real world, or virtually in the real world, in this example, it's more interesting than just looking at a dot matrix screen. It's also a little weird that they're still doing dot matrix screens when, even by modern standards, it's probably going to be a TV screen for real. <laughs> so you're just pretending like it's a, a pinball table from you thought decades last year's party was something. previous. Need a repair here. Hmm. And we're 17 minutes in. Amazing. And we got seven million. Hmm. Welcome, Mr. Stark. It's a bit and early. See, the, the weird cheers. thing is, is I kind of am done, even though I saw that mini table gun already. But how or what can I do? Instead, if I if I do finish at 30 minutes, it's just gonna be a 30 minute recording, and that's it. There's no more uh, new tables to look at. There's nothing else to to play, unless I wanted for some reason to go play another table. Stark Industries is going public. Uh, I'm limiting myself here in a fashion that normal people certainly would not have. Our shares are still rising. Left in, kickback in the sense activated. That I'm forcing myself to play each table now. Uh, most people might be perfectly satisfied to play some of these tables for 10 minutes and then never play them again. And if they didn't pay that much for the bundle of four tables, or they liked one of the other tables. Uh, then they they may be acceptable. Reckless American, your torture has only just begun. So here the Mandarin. I think there could easily be a bad guy like Mandarin that that doesn't like Tony because he's a reckless American. That's a very valid argument. Right kickback activated. To even make Tony is reckless. Or has been in the past, at the very least. And see, maybe it's a good thing that they have the Inhumans and the Avengers' large crises happening, because that allows them not to have to deal with with Iron Man dealing with the Mandarin or people like the Mandarin, silly uh, bad guys that aren't that strong or interesting. It might also explain why there's a lot of crises that happen in the Marvel Universe in general is they simply have, have found that when a crisis goes on, people are more interested hey, than when for a good party, an individual character right is just place. fighting against his usual bad guys. Another great day for Even Stark in the Industries. Batman oh, series, uh, need to increase the tower security level. like the Joker was getting way too overused and they 
they stopped using him for a long time. Not because he was getting overused, they didn't have that much self-control, but because one of the actors in one of the Batman movies died and they didn't want to... Uh, they took a couple years to not reintroduce the Joker because they didn't want to be offensive. So they were playing it pretty safe there. We don't need a government Honestly, they bailout. probably bailing them out. would have been perfectly fine if in the next issue they had a Joker series. A uh, Joker show up. Surveillance cameras? Good idea. But it was also a good excuse to just not have the Joker. Which was a good thing for Batman. I wonder when the last... The last time probably... The Batman That's why has got the new one bad guy. guy. Has probably been Hush, which was probably six or seven years ago now. It's and, a bit early, but cheers. Well, there was the Court of Owls. They were introduced to, and they're, they're, they're an interesting face. series of bad guys, and they they happened maybe three years ago. So they're trying to do some new stuff there. I wonder when the last time Iron Man got a new bad guy. I have no idea. I, don't, I have no idea what Iron Man is doing, if anything. Uh, did I hear that Pepper Potts is Iron Man? That's why I have more than one suit. Maybe. She may be in charge. It may not even be Tony Stark anymore. Uh, or maybe that happened and it's already changed back. Iron Man in particular uh, is always giving other people his suit because it's or well, a suit see. of their own because it's it's real easy to to have this like cyborg exoskeleton uh, armor to add that to your character and then they're a new superhero. So, Biometric surveillance systems are now online. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a clue what's happening in the story. I don't know what you could even do in this story that's that interesting. The idea of he was building weapons of war and he's still kind of just building weapons of war, though. He's trying to make non-lethal weapons of war. Just kind of makes him like the CEO of the Taser. Come on, ladies, let's dance. It's still causing pain and damage, and not getting down to the root of the issue of oh, there are conflicts that are not getting constructively. Uh, you can't finished. escape me, Stark. I will slice you. Yeah. We'll never see an end to war using force. Nice shot. Left kickback activated. He seems to just casually ignore that fact or pre pretend to be ignorant of it, or maybe he actually is ignorant of it. Uh, that doesn't mean we shouldn't try, but it does kind of mean, from a broader perspective, he'll never succeed. Honestly, for as smart as Tony Stark is, he, he would be better teaching engineering at a college level. He would be better making awesome. jobs. He would be better doing anything other Welcome, than just Stark. being narcissistic and putting himself it's at the center of attention. Cheers. That's the irony, I suppose, of all superheroes is they run around in their underwear and 
fight bad guys, and the only thing that even justifies slightly what they're doing is the fact that there are super villains that are mostly only in existence or were directly created because of the superheroes running around in their underwear, uh, causing fear and scaring them. Uh, which is a slight reference. I mean, Stark Industries is going public. If your police in your country shoot people on suit. site, then you're not. You're going to be so afraid of the police that you're going to avoid them or ignore their laws and potentially attack them. And that's kind of what the supervillains, at the core of them, are. Is they're so afraid of being beaten up by the superheroes that they've got to build more weapons and do more destruction. Ball save. Uh, yes, they're shown as completely evil uh, people, but if they didn't need to prepare and, and worry about superheroes, they would just be evil people robbing banks instead of trying to blow up banks. So the escalation adds to it on both sides. And the truth is, superheroes don't help. Even Superman doesn't help. Lex Luthor is directly created because of Superman. And Lex Luthor is a great example of somebody who's afraid of somebody who has that much power. And no real control uh, behind all that power. Now you are much stronger. Go and defeat this American mortal. Right kickback activated. As you can see, see? Stark, I have only grown more powerful. They keep mentioning these American because back when Iron Man first came out, he, it was as patriotic a, a propaganda piece as Captain America was. In a lot of ways, he is just a different version of Captain America. And so we're doing this fight here. Left kickback activated. So what am I even supposed to be shooting for right now? I guess those two lanes, one on the far nice left, shot. and then one cross shot on the right. Which that one's gonna gonna turn out to be the one that's more than one suit. So we kind of know that mission can't be done, or it's highly unlikely I'll do it. It's a bit early, but no, nah, it's cheers. too much to say it can't be done. I'm, I probably just won't do it. Is there anything else to say? I kind of wish Marvel and DC would get bought out by the same company. I mean, they do the same things anyways. They might as well just be owned by the same people. But then, that kind of makes it... That would just mean that half of the comic books would get cancelled. And we'd only get Biometric the, surveillance systems the favorites of both Marvel and DC. I guess it would be better if, if instead they were split up uh, and the independent comic uh, took over instead Never. of just Serious comic book stores here. going out of business, which they kind of are. Awesome. Uh, we've been playing for 30 minutes now. We'll keep going a little Welcome, bit longer, Mr. Stark. at least. Maybe try to get it's up to It's a bit early, minutes. but cheers. If independent comic books could be sold in some fashion. The problem is having a store, selling the Stark kids, Industries is going public. getting less and less of a discount in printing comic books. Ball save. Uh, more and more these days, people don't even own printers personally at their house. You, you kind of only need it 
as a luxury, you don't need it at all. Uh, get cell phones and just reading things off the screen. But I don't feel like reading a comic off a tablet or an iPad is a fun experience for, for most, or probably 50% of the potential fans of comic books. So some people do want it in print. And, our shares are and still rising. Personally, even as somebody who doesn't read comic books anymore, I'm very happy to have a bookshelf full of them, of uh, trade paperbacks, which is the right way to read them, in my opinion. Uh, because, at the very least, it's something I own, something I can go back and read again if I feel like it. Uh, and being comic books, they're not super long things. I, I like the idea of owning a library of some things. I've had a lot of stuff that, that probably isn't still playable, like VCR, uh, VHS cassettes, uh, probably old Nintendo cartridges. Uh, we need to increase the tower well security level. Not play if I tried to plug them in. Hey, if you're looking for a good party. And You've come to the right place. Something that's just printed in the book is probably still going to be all, all right in 80 years. Come on, ladies, years. let's dance. And I decide to retire. I'm old enough to to fully retire uh, and sit back and relax. And it's something that might be something of an heirloom. I don't think a digital collection of comics is anywhere as interesting to give to to your your. Successor stronger than go and defeat this American uh, mortal. Than, more than one than than I have a real comic book collection. Power. Of course, comic book collections get out of hand really, really fast. It's a bit early, but they, cheers. They, they take up a lot of space if you have a lot of them, and you kind of need them all. So, if I, I, I probably would, if I could trade some of my DC comics for some more independent ones, I probably would, and have a better collection and a more selective collection. Uh, not just a Pokemon style, gotta have them all, but a, these are the books that were actually good when I read them the first time, so I actually want to read them again. But these are stories that actually finish, which Surveillance DC cameras? and Marvel have a terrible yeah. problem of not really finishing their stories ever. But for the industry, if they could just get tons of independence out there, that would be great. Kind of like the manga industry was something. Uh, in Japan, where it's just like, well, we're going to print a few thousand copies of this, and that's it. And it's, Welcome to the world's uh, most exclusive part. And it doesn't take a lot of money to publish, and we can have them in bookstores. Uh, there's a lot of reasons socially why that works better in Japan than in the United States and the rest of the world. But there's no enough of this foolishness. Die! There's no like big monopolies. I don't think holding fantastic holding back publishers like they might very well be with Marvel DC. Uh, going independent seems not to really work, and trying to publish yourself costs a lot of money. I wouldn't imagine that if you were trying to do something like that, you'd have to probably make a novel version of it, and then spend at least $10,000 to have copies printed, uh, and then you probably would have to contact every single it's a bit early but uh, cheers every single comic book store you can find to see if they'll even buy a couple of copies from you and they probably won't like i think it's called diamond publishing if i'm remembering correctly that i think dc owns it and it it's they are the ones that that all the comic book stores i think deal with to get both DC and Marvel Comics, and they're probably the only people that they deal with, and then they 
probably buy some toys and things, other memorabilia style collectibles um, from a couple of other places. But it's really not a thriving industry. Comic book stores, like comic book stores and hey, candy shops. Hey, looking for a good party? You've come and to the right place. A big reason why it's not a thriving industry is simply kids don't have money, and the economy has been bad for a really, really long time in the United States and the rest of the world. And of course, the economy being bad in the United States is not Follow as bad up. as a lot of the places in the world, but it has been bad. Pepper. And parents don't want to give money to their here. kids, and kids would rather probably spend money awesome. on uh, on Welcome, microtransactions uh, on, or video games it's a bit or early, but practically cheers. anything else before they would buy comics. Personally, as a kid, I never walked into a comic book store at all. Uh, so you really have to have parents that are are already fans themselves before they you would even hey, go into a store. Like for a good party, you've come to the right I walked into plenty of bookstores, but never saw a comic book section in them. Maybe they were hidden, or maybe they were kept... I think they may have been kept behind the counter uh, to keep the kids from... Uh, from we need to increase there. the tower's security level. I walked into plenty of toy stores, plenty of video on, game ladies, shops, let's dance. plenty of arcades to play pinball, which is what I'm supposed to be talking about. But an actual comic book store? No, there wasn't. Never. The first comic I ever read was a Looney Tunes comic cameras? that we got out of a gas station on a road trip. So that I assume my parents just got it to keep me busy. So I was reading it while getting car sick while reading in the car. And so I got that one comic and then that was probably the only comic I got I a duel, until you like me. One on one. Oh, I think we 10, maybe 20 one. years later. Uh, in which I decided to try to get into DC Comics and there was a sale going on for some for year long subscriptions on DC Comics and I bought a bunch of them and then I tried and then decided I didn't like getting the individual issues so I'd prefer getting nice the shot. Uh, trade paperbacks that collect six months or so of the individual issues and so awesome. then I started buying those and after a while, I finally just gave up and I was like, no, oh, I can't. I really can't get into it. So I spent quite a lot of money probably to, to realize I'm not a comic fan, really. And, but for anybody to even go that far, you have to be pretty experimental to even do as much as I do. Most people probably won't even get that one comic book on the road trip. Most people probably won't ever see a sale that convinces them to buy a, sub a year long subscription to a thing. And there is certainly some generational gaps because if somebody liked comics from 30, 40 years ago, the, the comics now are way too hardcore and realistic compared to that. Uh, you could maybe go look at an Archie comic and that's about it. Even Archie, uh, certain versions of Archies are are, have been modernized and, and made uh, more violent and such. Fantastic. Alright, well, this cross shot to work. Got it. Now center shot. Yeah, that. Mandarin defeated. So that's one emission down. Five to go. Biometric surveillance systems are now online. This is also a point that certain people are going to want certain different things from comics because they're so varied. If you want superhero comics, you kind of just are going to want to get like Superman 
Batman. That's why I have more than one suit. Spider-Man, The Avengers, and you're probably still not going to quite get what you want reading those. It's a bit early, but uh, cheers. But if you want, like, dramatic or mystery or scary, uh, Ball save. there's probably some level of independent publisher out there that can suit your needs a lot better there. I'm not sure anything better than Marvel DC for the superhero style though. Like I said in the previous recording, you might want to just go get the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Stark comics, Industries is going since public. that's got a TV series to set up for him, and uh, I think it's an independent publisher, it may not be, it may just be under a different label of one of the big companies, since they bought out so many of the independent comics. We did have independent comics for a short time there. Quite a few, and then they just got bought out when the economy went bad again. Uh, like, and you it, it's very difficult to stay independent. You have to be pretty fiercely independent and Our be a privately owned still company. Rising. Right Otherwise, activated. you can just do a hostile takeover uh, by owning 51% of the sh shares and and then trying to take over the board member seats. Now you are much stronger. Go and defeat this American mortal. As you can see, Stark, I have only grown more powerful. See, Whiplash here sounds like he's Russian. And that's uh, why I have more than one suit. Eight million. Not sure this is gonna be the last game we play. Maybe, maybe not. I'm getting into it a little bit more. I'm willing to put up with this table a little bit better. It's it's not a terrible table. It's just the standard Zen folly over and over again. Why not move some of these ramps closer forward? Make the angle smoother so I can actually get up the ramp why not have some more sinkhole targets, drop down targets, Welcome to maybe the most exclusive move part. the pop up bumpers so, so they do more? Uh, have something in the lower playfield that's interesting to do, to interact with. I mean, when you see Blades table and compare it to this, Ball saved. it's just. Very strange that it's the same company that hey, made if you're those two tables. Party, you've come to the right they're, place. they're totally different. This feels just like their standard lazy design, but it seems like they love their standard design. And I'm calling it lazy, but because they come back to this design Let's way more than the others. I can get in the sinkhole. Then I can get another multiball. Come on, ladies, let's dance. We need to increase the tower's security level. Hmm. He's repeating the same audio over and over again. Music's a little annoying, but not really too much. Pepper. Serious need to repair here. Fantastic. So we got up to 10 million. Welcome Let's to Let's play Stark. one more table and then we'll It's call. a bit early, but cheers. There is probably a fence that could be taken. Ball uh, saved. To, to call the phrase, offense is never given, only taken. Uh, but uh, the fact that Iron Man is the corporate business guy in a white suit, Caucasian male, 
and all of the enemies that are being shown on this table need are to increase the tower a Russian line. and a Chinese person. This, this reeks of some nationalism. It reeks of some uh, of some stereotyping that it definitely is doing. Uh, and I totally see why the movies tried to fix that somewhat. It didn't feel like an issue in the movies. That's it why does, I have more than one it suit. will definitely feel like an issue if you read the old comics. Modern comics, probably not too bad. Marvel and DC, uh, I think Marvel more than DC even, has, has done a real good job about diversifying its cast. Right, and they, back activated. I think one of those two companies specifically said they, they wanted to replace a lot of their characters who were just standard white men into other races because now they want to diversify people who are reading it and, and just have more variety in characters. Hey, if you're looking for a good party, on the base the level, right that's what it's right to do. Good Different face and skin types and and just appearances of people means different art means better art. Now you are much stronger. Go and defeat if this everybody American paints mortal, as you the can same see, picture bro. over and over again. I have only good old It more gets power. really boring. Like, imagine if only the Mona Lisa existed and people just did new renditions of the Mona Lisa over and over again. There was no Salvador Dali. There was no uh, Impressionism, Cubism, none of that art style ever happened because it was just painting the Mona Lisa. And how dull would society be from that? It's, it's that same thought. It's, if everybody's drawn the same guy over and over again, Fantastic. or somebody that looks similar to the same guy over and over again, it gets really boring. Of course, that does cause trouble too, because then you have uh, female Thor come out, and then the people that like male Thor are left in the that's why I have more uh, than one suit. are left out in the cold because the character they grew up with and loved has now been not only kicked to the curb, but it's a bit early, insulted but on cheers. the way out. So you have to be delicate about it and kind of make it, try to make sense of it. I think in a lot of ways if they just gave them new names and created new characters as they were canceling the other characters they weren't selling anyways, you could effectively on, do ladies, the same let's thing. Dance. Even if it was, you just made a new Iron Man and, and the story has nothing to do with the previous Iron Man, much like in Ghost Rider, the new Ghost Rider uh, really has no connection to the old Ghost Rider, and the new new Ghost Rider probably has very little connection to the to the the old new Ghost Rider because they're up to three. Just use the same name or new name. Pepper, serious yeah. need to repair here. Try anything, basically. That's my attitude. Just keep trying, Marvel. That's how low my standards are with the comic book industry is they should really just try anything just get comics out there try to get them in the hands of kids uh, that is kind of a problem too is comic books aren't allowed at school as any toys aren't allowed at school so uh, it's it's hard for the, the kids to have time to play with them and spread particularly as schools give more and more homework to the poor students anywho we've been going about 50 minutes our best score was 10 million. I'm surprised we even got that high. That adds to our other high scores. Looks like we're going to get to 2.1 billion. I doubt we get much more. I don't think we'll get to 2.25 billion. Uh, that gives us a super score of 2,095. That multiplies by the 56 tables we played now to give us a wizard score of 117,320. So, did we get any achievements? No. Accomplish all the Tony Stark missions? Nope. Defeat Whiplash and Mandarin? Nope. Didn't do that either. Let's see, what was the overall high score? 
See, this is very strange. This is one of those tables that doesn't even have that big of a cheaters here. 400 million compared to my 10 million, that's only 40 times higher than what I did. Uh, and again, whenever I see something like this, I start to wonder, maybe they are just really good pinball table players and they're not cheating. I don't think that's the truth because you still see big gaps of 50 million difference here, 100 million difference here, uh, 20 million difference here, about 40 million difference here. So you might be able to believe these, but then you have another gap of 60 million here. 20, uh, 10 million here, 10 million here. So I'd have a tendency to say the top seven probably cheated, but couldn't cheat that much, maybe? 20 times my 50 million would put me at 100 million. I'd, I'd be just down in the lower 100, I suspect. Let's look at the super score. It's the same as always. Pinball Wizard, same as always. Challenge because we have no friends, nothing. Pinball King because we have no friends. And see, when you played this on Xbox, if you had friends on Xbox, which you almost certainly would have somebody send you a friend request or something on Xbox, it just doesn't work that way on Steam, uh, you would get a lot of challenges and pop-ups and Pinball King things happening all the time. And it really did help motivate playing more. But on Steam, nah, you're going to really have to You'd have to friend somebody that specifically liked to play these tables, and I don't know if you're going to find anybody like that. So, the local high score here expected me to get above 10 million, which uh, again is interesting when you look at the leaderboards and the top high scores being only 10 times that. Uh, so I would have to get over 10 million nine other times to fill up the leaderboards if I wanted to, and I only got over it once. And I certainly don't think that that table is worth doing that. Same problems over and over again. We keep seeing them. Uh, too many ramps. Nothing in the lower left play field. Boring missions. Difficult to start missions. Difficult to finish missions. Uh, easy to lose table. It, over and over again, it's the same criticisms. I don't see how you could make something like Blade or Excalibur and then make Iron Man. It feels like it was a completely different team. Anywho, next time we're going to play El Dorado. Now these, I may not actually be part of the core pack. These may be the updated versions of the original pinball fx tables because yeah i think that's what these are uh, so that might explain why these tables might be a little bit worse these last four here but yep next time we do el dorado and hopefully it's not as bad as shaman and doesn't run into the same problem as that El Dorado might also be some shockingly close to Mars, uh, also, or, or even Wild West. Uh, Wild West Rampage is the actual name of it. And then after we do El Dorado, then we do Spider Man, then we do V12, then we do Wolverine, then we do Sorcerer's Lair. And then we are done with the series. So, five more to go. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name right now. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.